Hello everybody, it's Badass Gamer Girl here to talk about the Nintendo Switch. Um, number one thing, it collects dust. How about that? Okay, so here is the actual Switch. I did buy this for $2.99 at my local Walmart, which in my mind is kind of excessive, but I paid more um, for other things. So, um, I did want to do a quick review um, and talk about the Switch a little bit. Um, so this is my honest review. So far, I really, really love it. Now, I did get rid of my Nintendo 3DS, my DS, and my DS XL. So I got rid of all my games, and I'm starting fresh with a whole new system. So I do have... Mostly, I play Pokemon on um, my DS systems. But for the Switch, I also play Animal Crossing. And just like everybody else in the fucking worry world. Excuse my language. Um, so, sorry, it's checking. So, I do have it sitting in a case right now. Um, so that I can film one-handed. And it's actually a really nice case. Sorry, it's covered in cat hair. Because, like everything, everything is covered in cat hair. So, I have this case in case you're wondering. It has red and gold on this. Or, red and silver or white on the uh, on the zipper area I like this case it's been really good there are some excessively large cases out there don't buy them you only need this don't waste your money all right um, all right I really like this system it's completely different but it does have some pros and cons so I'm gonna start with the pros I guess I normally start with pom prom uh, cons my brain isn't working pro i like it i like that the joy cons come off i like that i have a separate controller thingy which is in my backpack somewhere and i'm not digging it out i like that i can put it on the tv i like its compactability it's easy to move um <clears throat> and the games options because they're I, I wish I would stop making systems so I could just settle on one, which is probably going to be this one for a while. For at least the next four years. I'm going to be stuck with this one. Um, so yeah, it does come with options for YouTube or, or whatnot. And also if you join the uh, monthly subscription service like PlayStation has, but it's Nintendo. Uh, you do get access to every game that came on this system and every game that came on this system. So I also, um, they do have some rare games, which I don't necessarily understand, but this one, uh, Mario 3D, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, I think is a rare that they are going to stop making copies of. So I made sure I snapped up a copy. I'm trying to get my hands on a Cooking Mama, but things are not great in the world of badassery. <laughs> I don't know. Things are really not good, so... Money spending is kind of on the DL. Um, I know nobody says that anymore. I haven't tried this game yet, so let's not even go over it. I haven't tried Shield yet. I've been playing Sword. And I haven't tried Luigi, Luigi's Mountain. Luigi's Mansion 3 yet as well. Or the Super Mario U Deluxe. I've mostly been playing um, Animal Crossing, New Horizons, and Pokemon Sword. And I've already beaten Pokemon Sword, and I'm working on the championship now. So, base, well, when I say beaten, I've like I've done like the main like gym thing. So, sorry, finger. A um, couple of negatives, and this is not just necessarily towards the Switch. It may concern some of the games. My main negative with this is up here on the top. You see this vent. It gets hot, and if you have this close to your face or your finger on it, it's hot. Okay, me negative. Negative number two, screen protectors suck in case you can't see the giant circle right here. And then I have more that won't work here and then on this side. So I suck, obviously, putting screen protectors on, or they're made of crap. I don't know which. Um... Number three, I think, is, I think for the most part, the rest of the system's okay. My other issue with this system in particular, sorry if you saw my desk stuff, <laughs> is this little kickstand. Sorry, I just squished everything. It is a pain in the ass. 
there we go to undo and this piece comes off i don't like this little pieces should not come off if you are a child or have children and yes most people that play this are adults but some are children that could be dangerous so it shouldn't pop off so easy and it's kind of a pain to squeeze it back on without breaking your whole system and that's probably going to take a second. There we go. Alright, so it pops on back, but still, small parts, not good for children. It does have the same charger as I'm into prawns again. Pros again, prawns. I can't talk. It does have the same charger ports as my cell phone. So if I'm traveling, um, I can use my cell phone charger. I'm trying to get it to focus, but it doesn't want to. There we go. Um, it does have the cell phone charger I use for my Samsung phone. Um, so, pro, you know. Um, I guess it has speakers in the back. Now, another negative or con is make it in Japan, not China. Um, things with China right now are kind of sketched, so make your shit and then not in China. Um, we're not exactly simpatico at the moment, so, um, let me move this so I can, here you can look at it, look at, try and fix my squashed, uh, thing here. Now, I, when I bought the case, it did come with, not these, for the controllers, because these actually don't fit, these are for my PlayStation, but I threw them on there because I am a textural person, and I do not like the texture on here but I can live with it for a short time so I use I use these when I need to <laughs> oh Jesus um sorry my sinuses are going crazy it's that time of the year where things are changing and I thought it was gonna sneeze or puke I couldn't tell all right um let's see um I don't really have any other pros or, or, or cons at the moment I like the buttons um, I like the um, easeability or the usability and how easy it is to pop one of these off and use it separately. And of course, it's not that easy when you're using it one handed. So that's not happening. Okay, let's go over games real quick. So the game size has shrunk like severely shrunk. Which is weird. I mean, we went from really, really huge cartridges, like this big, and bigger, maybe a little bit bigger, down, 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 down they go until they're this size. Um, <clears throat> that's upside down. So with the case, I did get this little box to hold four games, and I'm like, are you kidding me? I, I buy like, and oh, another con, the cost of the fucking game, 60 bucks, are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit! That's why I only have like six games, cause I, I paid like a thousand dollars for this. If you're asking where I got that money, don't ask. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my stupidity is is sneaking through. Um, let's see. So you've seen the games I have. You can see that I have Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield in here. I have Luigi's Mansion in here, and then I have that Wii U Deluxe crap. So I've mostly been playing Animal Crossing. So some more pros. If I can try and set this up just right. Because I have been working on my island so hard. I like the sounds. Um, it's got really good sound. Um, I like the maneuverability. It's so easy. Um, it's just really a really nice little system. I'm really appreciating it. Sorry, finger again. Um, damn, I keep shoving my finger in the camera. Sorry about that. Alright, trying to get comfortable, trying to get a good angle. So, other than the obvious issues that I have, it's a really solid system. From so far, and I've only had it for about two weeks. I've already beat Animal Crossing and did the main storyline. I've already beat, um, sword pokemon sword and i mean and did the main storyline for that so i'm just about done with that um god my sinuses also you get this cool little 
screen wipey. It's okay, I guess. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't really have anything super negative. I just, I have been burning my finger up here and then hearing it is okay if it's in your hand, but if it's back like this, it's a little harder to hear because the speakers are on the freaking bottom and back. Yeah, on the back. Um, one of the things I really do like about the system, and the reason why I bought it, is this little puppy right here. Number one, I hate cat hair, and I have three cats, so that's driving me nuts. Number two, I love the, to be able to put this on TV and play my favorite characters or my Pokemon on my big, giant, 60-inch screen TV. That's just awesome. So here's what the back of the inside looks like of the port docking thing. It's covered in cat hair, and I try not to have it out, but I do set it up like I set my cell phone up, so I charge it um, and when I'm sleeping, and um, I also charge my cell phone with it because it does have two ports on this side for USB, and you can see this thing right here in the middle. That's the actual charging port for your system, for your switch. So you can put HDMI on this. It does come with an HDMI cord. Um, and you can also hook up USB, but why would you? Except to maybe back up some of your files. Um, it's relatively, I want to say, cheap plastic, at least for some parts. Yeah, I think this part is maybe the cheapest plastic. Um, another thing I like about this is that right there oh, I wasn't even focusing on it because I'm a jackass um, so you could put cords in here and they won't get crushed pinched or otherwise harmed in the making of you plugging things in and, and taking them out so other than my cat hair issue which is my issue really and the dust collector issue because this collects dust like nobody's freaking business I mean this is all dust of course there's dust on my screen too um, so far, so good. I really like this system. Um, go ahead and take it as is. Slide it in there. Come on. There we go. And it shuts it off and starts charging it immediately. And you can tell. The only other problem I've actually had with just the docking bay is that depending on what plug, it won't charge. So particularly here at my office, it gets all the papers and the paint on the wallpaper. That plug does not work. I actually have to plug it into a giant dusty thing like that. So just beware that your wall unit plug may not necessarily have the correct amount of amps or wattage or whatever necessary to charge your system. Because I was plugging it in the white one and it wasn't charging at all for like two days. And I'm like, what's going on? Why isn't it working? And then I figured out, oh, I can't plug it in there. So I have to actually plug it into something a little more hardcore than your normal socket. So yeah, so far I guess it's a pretty good system. I have no real issues um, other than a few minor ones and those are mostly because I'm a mess. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think it's a really great system. If you wait till it goes down in price, I think that's a better time to buy it. Don't buy it for over $2.99. It's just not worth it in my mind. Um, it's got some really good options and you can change out the controllers and buy new ones and get colored ones hold on try to pop it out um so so yeah um let's go back to the home screen here so i do like it i like it a lot actually um it does have a tiny little power button and volume buttons and then you can see that vent that gets really hot and then it has the uh, game card slot that you have to have nails to get into. And then you fucking slam it. Uh, there's your game card right there. And yeah, I mean, it's not, God, it looks dirty to me. <laughs> Greasy fingers. Um, it's actually kind of a heavy system. It's heavier than the ones of the past. That's mostly because of the screen is four times the size or five times the size as the previous generations of the Nintendo's uh, DS series. So um, it's pretty solid. I'm having no real major issues with it. It's pretty comfortable to use. 
I mean, it's hard to carry around. If I'm walking around, like going outside for smoke and still playing, it's kind of hard to do that one-handed. So then I, I pull the kickstand out and use that as a grabber and kind of hold on to it until it breaks. So yeah, so, so far no issues. I'm sorry about the uh, camera quality because I'm using a cell phone for this shit. So apologies. If I can figure out how to do videos on the Switch, and I know you can, I just, I, I can't sit here and, and do this shit. I, I'm, I'm, mm, mm I mean, that's, no, uh-uh, no, honey, no, no, that's not happening. So, anyway, if I can figure that out, I'll do some Animal Crossing videos or whatever, or any of the other crappy games I have videos. <laughs> If you're interested, only if you're interested. I know I mostly do PlayStation on my channel, so. Anyway, this has been my kind of crappy, honest review. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit a like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.